Hello, my name is Andrew Briggs, and today we are going to work on how to practice and perform Piatti's Caprice No. 4, Allegretto. So, the challenge of this Caprice is how do we find depth in the chords while maintaining a singing melodic line throughout the whole Caprice? And for this, I want to bring awareness to our pelvis and how rolling the pelvis can emphasize different musical elements that you want to bring out depending on the section you're in. So, to roll the pelvis, we can move in a bunch of different ways, but let's start by moving side to side. And so I'm rolling my pelvis side to side by first pushing in one heel and then the other and just alternating back and forth. So go ahead and find a way to roll your pelvis side to side and do it so that you can breathe comfortably and so that you feel like you are going to be stable throughout this movement. Okay, so when we're playing, we can um, continue moving side to side and we can do it um, in different combinations. So let's do the opening of Caprice number four and I'm going to push my right heel in on every down bow and then my left heel in on every up bow and see what does that emphasize for our first section. <laughs> So that was pushing the right heel in for every down bow, left heel in for every up bow. Disclaimer, I'm playing this a little bit slower than I would for a performance, but this is just to set up the sensation in my body. Let's now reverse it, so left heel on every down bow, right heel on every up bow, and see how that changes sound. Just notice. Notice, was there a difference? And if there was, which one did you like better? Um, okay, so we moved our pelvis side to side. Let's now move the pelvis forward and back via uh, pushing and pulling the heels. So when I push my heels, this allows my pelvis to roll back and naturally my spine starts to round. And then when I pull the heels, this arches my back, rolls my pelvis forward. And so let's just move between these two different states of the pelvis. So forward and back and forward. And allow the whole spine to become involved in this movement. And notice if the whole spine is either moving with and supporting this movement or holding against it. And if it's holding, go ahead and let go of that holding. So I'm bringing more awareness to my head and neck. And just notice how does your head and neck move with this movement? So, and let it move with the movement. Okay, so let's start off, same, start off with the opening, but I'm gonna round my back on the down bows and arch my back on the up bows, and let's see what that does for the sound. <laughs> rounding on the down bows, arching on the up bows. Let's reverse that. So arching on the down bows, rounding on the up bows. So, <clears throat> now that we've tried out different combinations with both side-to-side -side motion and rounding and arching the back, so we've rolled the pelvis in all different directions, let's just let the pelvis roll naturally and see how this opening is changed from, uh, from what it was before. Mm -hmm. 
that I'm moving the pelvis all over and we're emphasizing different musical elements because of that. So let's move on to the poco meno section, which has a different character um, and uh, texture in general. And let's do those same exercises to see if there's any differences that we want to bring out. So uh, again, we're moving side to side first. I'm going to push my right heel with the down bow, left heel with the up bow. And let's try out this poco meno section. Let's reverse that and see how the sound changes. So the left heel with the down bows, the right heel with the up bows. Notice if there's any differences, if you liked one version better than the other. And let's move on to rounding and arching the back. So I'm going to round my back on the down bows and arch my back on the up bows. Let's now reverse that. So I'm going to arch my back on the down bows and round my back on the up bows. again if there's any differences or one that you liked better. And again, I'm going to let my pelvis just move naturally with my interpretation um, forward, back, side to side, and let's see how the Pocomena section sounds. So I would suggest going through the whole caprice like this and experimenting the side to side, arching and rounding in different combinations with your bow and see what musical elements you want to emphasize and which sound most natural to you to bring out both the depth in the chords and that singing melodic line. Thank you.